All right, well, uh, we just had a very successful fall sports season for the Needham Rockets. It was capped off last week with the football team losing a tough one to Bridgewater Raynham in the state tournament. Uh, they did lose a heartbreaker to Wellesley as well, but we did have a good fall season, so now it's time to move on to the winter sports season. And uh, here is a look at the 2009-2010 winter sports preview. The boys' basketball team enters the 2009-2010 season after enjoying their most successful tournament run since 1996. But second-year head coach Paul Liner loses nine of his 14 players from a season ago and is relying on new faces to make an impact. Gone are Gene Baptiste, Patrick Kelly, Nate Allison, Bobby Ernst, who all were starters in 2008 and 2009, as well as last season's captain Brady Dow, and role players Andrew Rayner and Eric Bertino. Returning, though, is first-team All-Star Kerry Hecker, who led the Rockets in scoring last season. The boys open this season on Tuesday, December 15th at Denham, and they are then home on December 18th and 21st against Brookline and Wellesley. Two days after Christmas, the Rockets will play Charlestown in the first round of the Franklin Holiday Tournament. They play rival Newton North twice, the first meeting at the Tigers gym on January 15th, and then again at the A gym on February the 11th. The Rockets play Division II champion Milton on the road on January the 29th. On the ladies' side, the Rockets were one game away from their second Boston Garden appearance in three seasons. And like Paul Liner, second-year head coach Kim Benson is going to have some new players in the starting lineup. The Rockets graduated four starters, including guards Meg Cardock and Katherine Horn, also forwards Maddie Nisiak and Katie Ganser, who is now playing at Merrimack College. Returning, though, is her younger sister and 1,000-point scorer, senior captain Christine Ganser, who recently signed her letter of intent to play at Holy Cross next season. The girls open at the A gym on Friday, December the 11th against Braintree. They are at defending Hergate Division champion Wellesley on December 21st. The girls open 2010 with a game at Arlington Catholic on January the 2nd, and they'll play their last non-conference game on February the 6th against Bill Ricca Memorial at home. They play Division II South runner-up Walpole on the road on January 22nd, and they'll close the regular season at home against Newton North on February the 11th. The boys hockey team went to the Super 8 for the second time in school history last season, and both times Bill Giusti was the head coach. This season, Giusti's squad is without Cam Bumpus and Sam Gifford, who both have played key roles over the last several seasons. Bumpus was a former first team Bay State Conference All-Star, and Gifford was the team's starting goaltender for the past two seasons and was always among the Bay State Conference's top in goals against average. The boys have a tough non-conference schedule as always, and it starts on Monday, December the 21st at Severian in a rematch from last year's Super 8 second round. The Rockets will finish up 2009 with two home games versus Wellesley and Central Catholic, and then they'll play in a New Year's Eve matinee at Hingham. The Rockets play BC High on January the 18th, a 2.30 faceoff at UMass Boston. They'll close off the regular season with the Springfield Cathedral Tournament on February 17th and 18th. The girls' ice hockey team also made the MIAA Division I Tournament with a 9-6-5 record, but they failed to advance beyond the first round for the third year in a row. Their non-conference schedule includes Belmont on January the 11th, Lexington on February the 15th, and Barnstable on February 17th. The girls open the season on December 12th against Braintree. And the uh, wrestling team, they will have their first match, the quad match, which includes Belmont, Boston Latin, North Andover, and of course the Rockets. They have a big match versus Newton North on Thursday, December 17th. Girls and boys indoor track as well. They both open their season on December 17th at the Reggie Lewis Center. They're both up against Newton North. Bay State Conference Championship meet is February the 10th. And the boys' swim team, they have their first meet on Friday night, 
December 18th at 7 o'clock versus Brookline. That meet is at Babson College Bay State Championship meet for swimming starts on February the 3rd. <clears throat> and then finally, the uh, fall sports fall sports season's over, and the Bay State Conference All Sports Awards standings have been released by Needham High and the Rockets. They are first in the carry division, 36 wins, 18 losses, and four sports uh, for the boys and the girls teams. Accounted 32 wins, 27 losses, and eight ties and five sports. So congratulations to Needham. They got the Bay State Conference uh, All Sports Award for the carry division.